this dark crystal. So if we pick this up, oh, okay. Hello, hello, good friend. <laughs> so we're gonna try just throwing this at your face. Just don't freak out, okay? Don't kill me. Wah! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hello everyone and welcome back again to my little blacksmith shop. Alright, so today we have figured out plenty of new stuff and we have some exciting new stuff to show you, which I'm sure you already know about. We're gonna take a look at that later today. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but we're gonna figure that out for ourselves. But let's go ahead and open up our shop just to have this open because I want to prove to you all that I know how to make a hammer now. I know how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just make ourselves one hammer just to sort of prove a point here. Uh, and then we can move on. We're gonna be messing around with some crystals today because uh, a lot of you guys love Hello Neighbor for its secrets. And this game has plenty of secrets of its own, which is the reason that I'm so interested in trying it out, is because I want to know the secrets. I must. Okay, so don't hit it yet. That would be dumb. Alright, so we put these on here, and then we can select different stuff. And we haven't, we can't select shield yet, but there is a way that we can get that, and we'll be looking at that probably, uh, not right now. Uh, <laughs> we'll look at it later. Right now, I just need to prove that I can make a hammerhead. Come on, hammer. Three, two, one. There we go. Here's our hammer. Ba-boom. There we go. Look, it's just like a little block. This might as well, we might have just, might as well stuck an ingot right on top of it. Look, the ingot is bigger than this hammerhead. <laughs> okay, uh, one-hand hammer. Oh, I got you. I got you. I'm on top of this. Uh, one-handed. This thing. Here we go. Stick this on the bar. And this and that. They just, they need to just get together and have good times. Why won't you go on it? Okay, I hate this. Just work with me here. All right, we need to clear everything else out. Uh, you go there. You go out the window, sure. You, I don't need you. All right, you on the table. Here we go. Now, we put the two pieces together. And ta-da! Here's a hammer. I hope that's right. That was quick. It was quick. You should tip me. No, you didn't really tip me. Okay, $39. That's cool. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go mess around with some crystals. Um, a few of you did leave some suggestions. There is also another crystal. You said that this one was the water crystal over here. And then there is apparently a fire crystal at some location, which I, I'm not too concerned about today. I don't think we're going to mess around much with the fire crystal. We're going to leave that one for later. Um, and then we already found the crystal in there. And we found this one over here, and we don't know this one's purpose yet, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. So, they seem to have some sort of weird interactions with each other. So we're gonna grab this one. I don't know how this one interacts, but we're gonna take it over here, because this, this place, what is, what is that? Is that just like a boulder? It looks sort of concaved. What is that? I need to know. Oh, that's probably the, just the archway, isn't it? Am I crazy? Or is that? That's a boulder. Okay. No, I'm crazy. <laughs> um, but we're going to take it in here because there's a sort of a weird interaction with this crystal here. This dark crystal. So if we pick this up. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello, good friend? <laughs> okay. So you can see it's really dark in here. Whenever we grab this normally, it's really dark. But if we go and grab ourselves a different crystal and we can like... Can you... Wait, if I, if I like give him these crystals... Okay, that's inside of him. Oh, I just stuck it inside your face. Here, hold that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, eat the crystal. <laughs> okay, so let's go grab the light crystal. Because the light crystal will sort of uh, change things up a little bit. It'll make it a little bit more clear in there. And they have sort of an interesting interaction. So we're going to go grab ourselves our, uh, this nice light. Get out of the way, rocks. We're going to go grab ourselves this nice light crystal. And then make our way back over to the darkness hut and see what's going on. We might actually need to get the fire crystal as well, which I don't remember where that is. I guess I should probably figure out where the fire crystal is too. Let's go get the light crystal first though. We're not going to worry about that. We've got our big golem buddy over here, who I think was just over there. Maybe he's just really fast, but we need to go get this. Where is it? Are you like stamping on it? That was right around here. You're not going to hurt me, are you? We're cool. Oh, here we go. Okay, so... There's a light crystal underneath this thing, and we can also do something with the shield. I don't I don't know what. We're just going to throw it away, though, because we don't need it. We just need this crystal. Okay, so just to prove uh, a point here, you can see as I bring it into here, we still have all these light particles going on. But when we take it over here, we get something special, something different. We always have these sort of light particles going around it. They always hover around it and make this bright light. 
Um, but then there's this weird interaction when we bring it up to this house of darkness. It just stops. It just stops entirely. And then if we bring it in here and we grab this, look, it's all bright in here now. Like this, this doesn't affect our darkness. And I don't know if that has the same interaction outside. Let's actually take it outside and test it out. Okay. So it doesn't. So we're, oh, so long as we stay within a distant, oh. So long as we stay within a certain distance of this thing, or in this case, I think it's the entire house. Uh, we're just going to leave this here. Be careful with that. Okay, so that's like, it's not a certain distance. It has to be either in the house or outside of the house. So right here, like that. Normally that would be within the distance right here. But because we step into the house, it's no longer, unless I turn around. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know. We're going to bring this back in here. And then let's go ahead and see where that fire crystal is at. Because I think it might be important here. We're going to go grab it and bring it back. Okay, so we have the three floating crystals in there. Now we have one more crystal, which is actually in our house over here after doing a little bit of hunting on the interwebs looking for the crystal locations. Because I'm a cheater, you know, <laughs> we actually have one more hiding out in our house, and it's with the flames, of course, because it's fire. And, you know, we're missing all these customers, but that's okay. I should probably just close the shop. But it's around here. It's it. It's It's here. Around here somewhere I am certain there it is okay we found ourselves a crystal okay so this is the last crystal so we're gonna take it over to this guy and then we're gonna like give them to him and see what he thinks see what this this evil uh, darkness thinks he's, he's super creepy and <laughs> kind of crazy so we're gonna give them all the crystals here you can have this one there you go uh, <laughs> but we're gonna sort of line them up around him so let's go ahead and find the nice spots like what did I do did I break something this is the dark crystal he's supposed to be here where are you at buddy have light did you hear that what it made a popping sound why did it make a popping sound what happened <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, no, take the crystals. What is this? What is this? What is that? Is that just like the floor? I think that's just grass sticking out underneath it. But here, we're just gonna... Uh, crystals be together. Where'd the other ones go? Oh my god, we're losing everything. We're losing our minds here. They go through the floor? Whoa, whoops. Wait. What? Wait, what? No, I couldn't do this before. This wasn't possible before. What did I- Wait, can I go through any- Wait, why, why can I go through the entire house? What's going on in with this house? I don't know what's happening here. Is this a glitch? Did I break something? Am I just safe? from all evil now. Let's go try walking through a different house, because this one, clearly anything can go through this house now, which I don't think it could. And there's a crystal just in the wall here, but let, let's go see if we can walk through our house, maybe. Or what, what did we do? I don't know what we did. We broke something over there, and that's not good. Well, we still can't walk through our, whoa. I can walk through this post, but I think we're always able to walk through that post. But we can't walk through our house. So we can just walk through this one house now that we get, like, destroyed him. I don't know where he went. Oh, we broke him. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. Light crystal, come with me. And fire crystal. Here we go, we're on our way over there. So, we've got our crystals now. We just gotta get the water crystal, and hopefully we won't break it this time. I wanna see if he has any sort of special interaction as we're holding that thing and have all of the crystals in his house because clearly there is an interaction as soon as they enter his house like look at this or not what why is it not doing it this time wait what happened crystal 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 stay don't move okay can i walk through the house normally okay so i can walk through the house right now so i guess that's a normal thing and then he's there but then this isn't doing its thing anymore why did it stop okay we're just gonna leave that there and now it's dark, but it should be light. 
What is going on? I am I am seriously confused. Okay, here's another crystal. Let's go get the water. I don't know. I, <laughs> what is going on with this thing? It's confusing. Okay, so we have to be careful with these. Crystal unknown. Leave that one there. Fire. Right there. And then light. We'll put over here. And then grab this one. What is that sound? That doesn't normally do that, right? Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna put this outside. Just out here. We're gonna put this one outside. Let's see if he still makes that sound. He doesn't. Why does he make that sound when we... Okay, what if we bring just this one in? Do you not like the water? Okay. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the water, but he clearly has an interaction when there's all of these in here. He makes that weird sound, and he hates his life. What? Why is it dark now? What's going on? <laughs> the inconsistency. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to put these all right here, because this is where he spawns. So let's put them all inside of him. Just sort of stack them up like this. Ta-da. There we go. Perfectly aligned. Oh, you've got crystals inside of you. Oh. <laughs> okay, so nothing is happening, but I don't know what these, like, I don't know. I don't know. There has to be something going on, because he clearly had something, like, weird happening before. And maybe this is just the wrong place, but he is creepy, and I don't like him. And the only way that we can see him is when we're holding this crystal. So maybe if we make something out of this crystal, then we can make something happen. But we're going to try something. Okay, our Dark Lord is surrounded by his three crystals. He's making his creepy sounds because we have all the crystals in here. He doesn't always do that, but he's making it now. So we're going to try just throwing this at your face. Just don't freak out, okay? Don't kill me. He didn't care. Wait, but whenever I throw it, he like, he stays around for a little bit. Okay, wait. So... Let's, let's try this. Wah! What? 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 What did you do? Oh my god, what did he do? Okay, so whenever we like, touch him, whenever we poke him with this thing, he does that. So we need to, do, what we need to do with the crystal testing, I think is we need to carry this thing around and see what we can see with it. So maybe take it up to that house and back to the golem and see uh, what's going on with those. Because there's clearly something special about this house. And... This thing, this crystal allows us to see things which we normally can't see. Um, is there anything else that I can see, like, while holding these? No, I don't see anything special. Maybe if I go to, like, their spawn locations and hold the opposite one. So the light obviously made it lighter here. If we go over and take this to the, where the light spawns, maybe something special will happen. We're just gonna, like, walk everywhere with this dark crystal and see. Maybe if I take them to the gates, too. I don't know, there's so many possible things. Which I kind of love, but it's going to cause us a lot of pain. <laughs> okay. So here's our golem buddy. I don't think he really cares about the crystals, right? You don't care. And we're back here. This is where the light crystal spawned. Did you hear that? Okay. I don't like these sounds. I don't like what's happening back here. Okay, so we have... Let's just leave this here for a little bit. Let's have ourselves a little look around, see if we can find anything sort of hiding back here. Because I'm sure there's more stuff off in the back. Now, there is an edge of the map, obviously. But there's probably even more hidden stuff that I don't know about, because I'm still very new to this. But we found something kind of creepy and interesting, and I like it. And we keep going. The map goes a little bit farther each time. Is there something over these hills? What is this place? Okay. Is that it? Is that the corner? I think we reached the corner. So this is like the corner edge of the map. Right over here. Hmm. Okay, so, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We found, like, some creepy invisible man. And <laughs> he made noises and freaked me out. So that's, that's what we found out today. So if you guys have any suggestions for things we should do with the crystal places, we should put them. You should definitely leave some comments down below. Because I would like to hear all of them. And I would definitely like to test out more stuff. Because this is, it has a lot of secrets. And I must know secrets. 
I must. I must know all of them. Um, but we're going to go ahead and leave it there for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. What is this little thing? What is this here? Why is this here? What is this mud patch doing here? Okay, don't read too much into mud patches. That's uh, suggestion of the day. Okay, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of My Little Blacksmith Shop. We're definitely going to keep uh, trying to find some more secrets and see what we can possibly find, what we can unlock, and what we can do in this crazy world. That's going to be it for today, though, everybody. I hope you guys have enjoyed. 